Royal Gold Medal is the top award that can be bestowed on a practice or a person in the UK, but it's also one of the top in the world. It is bestowed by the Queen. In terms of how one receives the Royal Gold Medal, you can't nominate yourself. It has to come from one of the members or one of the honorary fellows of the RIBA. I was invited to submit a nomination. It was a great experience in itself. The Royal Gold Medal Award is the highest accolade in architecture. It was such an amazing experience to further research his work. It's such a privilege to be part of that process. A jury is created and each year we pick a different set of people from around the world. We review the submissions, compare and contrast and debate. We came to a very firm conclusion and the answer was to give the Royal Gold Medal for 2021 to Sir David Adjaye. Architecture wasn't one of those things where, as a young child, you know, I knew exactly what to do. It really came as a sort of young teenager. The first prompt was my art school teacher, who sort of said to me that I was creatively very capable, but I didn't pay any attention to it. I was too busy obsessed with science and maths. And this incredible art school teacher just said, you know, you, you, you should pay attention to this side of yourself. He was always a sort of quiet voice. And everything changed from there. I think a good architect is both a constructor and an artist at the same time. You oscillate between two worlds. I think as a student, I was completely inspired by all these great names that were in architecture. Wouldn't it be amazing to be able to do what these incredible names have done? Winning the bronze medal as a young student was a sort of validation for my parents, really. I, I remember just running to tell my mom, like, look. <laughs> that medal really unshackled me from the burden of having to prove that this was the right track. It sort of allowed me to have that freedom early. It sparked the sense that I wanted to use architecture, not just as a sort of building art form, but also for a social change and social justice embedded in its DNA. His architecture is about place, but it's also about people. It's about dignity, and it's about the understanding of how we root ourselves individually and as community within the built environment. His values are deeply, deeply rooted in ideas of how architecture is aligned with justice, creating equity for people in communities, in places across the globe. What he has done is demonstrate how architecture and what architects do can change and improve lives of ordinary people. It's coming back in 20 years and 30 years and seeing how generous it has been, how it has been adapted by the people that have used it. Everything that he does has to resonate. It means you have to be very courageous, self-assured, total belief in what he's doing. Our friendship is based on common interests and mutual respect. We had to develop a healthy amount of ambition, self-confidence, self-belief, mutual support of each other to say that actually we're really aware of certain barriers, but also knowing what we had to offer, what David has to offer, is something that was texturally, uniquely different to anything else that existed. Being absolutely convinced that what he had to offer was what people really, really needed. To do my own thing really happened because I really just got very frustrated with the profession. I realized that it was going to be complicated. I barely saw anyone of my same skin color in the room. And so I just very quickly felt that I needed to chart a very different path. From day one, it was about always wanting to be in control and to have the freedom of my own destiny. He brings so much 
intellectual firepower to his thinking. But it comes bound with an incredible sense of humility, a sense of reverence for beauty and for the way in which space can help us to imagine ourselves. Working with him has been an incredible collaboration that's bound around a deep and exciting and invigorating conversation about possibility. It would be incredible to achieve even half of the feats that David has achieved, but for me, the main achievement is inspiring a whole generation of designers given the younger designers the momentum and drive to start talking about their particular cultures, speak about their experiences, and give it the legitimacy it deserves. Seeing someone like him do that really makes me think, wow, there is no limit to what I can achieve and there's no limit to where architecture can take me and the impact I can make to the world of design and society as a whole. The RIBA gold medal win for Sir David Ajay is bigger than Sir David Ajay, the individual. It's a collective win, or I'm claiming it as that anyway. It's a win for black architects that have come before and paved the way. It's a win for those of us in the profession now trying to forge a way. And it most definitely is a win for those that are still yet to come. It's absolutely fantastic. There's a generation who have the opportunity to remake the world. And I just think that that is a renaissance. The younger generation coming up are in this opportunity to really define what the built environment is going to be about for future generations. And I just think that that's so exciting. Architects who are looking for ways in which they can be part of this movement and this renaissance, think about the diversity that you have in the office think about the gender balance. Look at the diversity of the opportunity of people that are out there and to want to reflect that in our practices so that we make a world that is reflective of the opportunity of all people. David receiving the Royal Gold Medal, it aligns with this change of direction of the profession. David, if I may ask you to come and join me on stage to receive the 2021 Royal Gold Medal. And I'd like to think that when historians look back, they see this widening of the ideas of what architecture is and what it can achieve. David is deserving of this incredible achievement, not just for what he's done already, this amazing body of work, but also because of all that he will do. We all will continue to be in awe when we see all that he has yet to create in the future. Once you are given this level of recognition, you're given permission to take on more projects and more responsibilities. Somehow he's able to mature into a sense of confidence that he can reveal himself. He's not making buildings, he's trying to reveal his soul. And I think that's a very generous thing to do. I, as a young student going to the RIBA and looking at that wall, actually never imagined that my name would be on it. It felt like it was not a club that I was part of, but it was something that I really admired in the sense of its great history. So to now, in 2021, have my name carved on that wall is quite surreal, if I'm quite honest. It's quite surreal. When one is a creative and one's trying to understand what one is doing, you know, the best validation is from others, especially for me, younger generations, who find inspiration in what you have done. I mean, I think it's probably the most fulfilling thing you can do as a creative person. So it's, it's just deeply moving.